As I'm sure most of you already know, my daughter became homeschooled last year. People might think that being homeschooled isn't as fun as in-person school, but we can ask everybody what she thinks. Today's my daughter's first day of homeschool at our new house, and I'm going to attempt to copy everything that Everly does for her homeschool morning routine today. What are you doing here? Ooh, I'm, uh, ooh, I'm copying your homeschool morning routine today. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, and I gotta say, that thing is not comfortable. You do uh, not want to sleep on that all night long. Well, I, you're sleeping on that one next time. Well, first I make my bed. Okay, I'll make my bed too. Um, That's what you do every single morning. I, I no, don't, I don't do it every single morning, but today I am. I don't usually make my bed like first thing in the morning, but I do agree that making your bed first thing in the morning is good. You guys comment down below right now if you make your bed first thing in the morning. Here, they were just. Nice. Never seen you do that before. Here we go. Go look at my bed right now. It's all made. Okay, I think that mine looks better than yours. Oh no, I'm not done. Look how nice mine looks. Okay. Such an exciting video. Yep. Okay, here, let me help you make your bed. Hey, stop it! That's I'm, my I'm lamp. I'm gonna help you make your bed because it's taking so long. I made my bed like 30 minutes ago. There we go. Here we go. Stop it! Just hey, stop. I don't like it like that! You don't, you don't like it stop all it. nice? No, I like it like this. Like this, evenly spread out, and I have to have it flat. Yes, that's what I was going to do, but now it just kind of looks there like all, all ruffled. Okay, well, then, okay, so you make your bed, and then you go and have breakfast, I assume? Yeah. Okay, should we go make breakfast? Yep. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. So I'm starving. I'm a big breakfast guy. I know a lot of people don't make breakfast in the morning, but our family makes a lot of breakfast. Okay, so here's our kitchen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a breakfast making competition where I'm gonna make a breakfast, everybody's gonna make a breakfast, and then we're gonna feed that breakfast to Zealand, my three-year-old son, her three-year-old brother who loves breakfast, and he's gonna be the judge on whose breakfast is better, okay? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, what am I gonna make? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm gonna make my specialty. My specialty is eggs on a griddle. I'm gonna do eggs. My specialty bacon, is nothing. Oatmeal. What? I don't make anything. You're not making anything? Uh, no, my specialty is nothing. I'm not good at making anything for breakfast. At least she's honest. At least she's honest. What if I make myself like some pancakes? Good We're also gonna make a bagel. A bagel? Because I only made four pancakes. A bagel and pancakes? That's your breakfast? Yep. Okay. Okay, guys, while we're waiting, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my bacon on. <laughs> oh, what's going on back here? You put the bacon on, listen to this. on <laughs> Here's actually a riddle for you. Why do you bake cookies, but you cook bacon? Uh, because bacon needs to cook, and bacon needs to cookies need to cook in the oven. Because I'll actually once I cook cookies in the microwave. Huh? You should cook cookies and bake bacon, but you don't. You That's bake not cookies, a good riddle. Bacon. It is a good riddle. Yep, it's it is. horrible. That's good. We're just gonna try to pour really lightly. It doesn't help that this is a new packet. Oh my gosh, we did that great. Look at that meal. I will say that That's everybody's great. breakfast is a lot quicker. So if you're in a rush, you just microwave those pancakes. Z and you're good. Mine, mine takes a second. I, I need another five minutes. I need five. another five minutes. Okay, we're setting a timer. Okay. Alexa. I'll be done in five minutes. Set a timer for five minutes. Sure, I'll be done. So guys, this is the scariest part with bacon. Flipping it. Kids, just don't try this because if you ever cook bacon on a stove top, it pops. The bacon grease pops and it burns you. So you See that? There we go. That bacon's turned out pretty solid. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna hurry now, so here we go. Alexa, we're gonna take, literally. We're gonna take going. this loaf of sourdough. Oh, I want that one. Oh, you want, you want some of my bacon? You get some sourdough and you cut yeah. that puppy into a perfectly sliced. Look at that. Oh, and then you just toast that. Mmm, here we go. I'm just gonna put it on the toaster. Is something wrong with him? The bacon's burning. Oh no! The bacon's burning. The bacon's burning. The bacon's on fire. Bacon. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I got it. I got it. I got it. No, no. Here, here. Don't get popped. Don't get popped. Don't let it pop you. Don't let it pop you. Play. I'm good. Mm, that smells pretty good. Actually, it's not burnt. It's perfect. And I'm definitely going to finish because the toast is toasting. You get that little bit of bacon grease. All you do is pour it down the sink. What's going on? Okay. And then get it back on the stove. Excuse me. Before you put your eggs on the stove. Oh. Ah! See, you got me on pressure now with a timer. And then put the stove top on low. Here's the fun part. You guys ready for this? The first pour. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. You love when I make you eggs. Oh, and I just heard my toast. My toast pop. That's my toast. Yes, it's very hot. And then... Oh, oh no, don't drop my... No, no! <laughs> I don't even care. I just cleaned up the house. The floor's not even that dirty. I don't care. If you want some good eggs... I meant to do that. Guys, you put some cheese on top of the eggs. And I'm gonna take those off in just a second. Got the toast, the eggs with the cheese on top, the stove. Always oh, turn it off, kids. Look at that. That is a good breakfast right there. Try to get some butter on the toast. If you want some jelly, go for it, and then we're done. Plenty of time. Plenty of time spare. Oh, oh, what? You want my food? I don't think so. Oh, oh, this is. Remember that's your breakfast? <laughs> I think I'll put a little bit of jelly on there to finish it up. Right, I'm gonna call Zeon up, and he's gonna do a taste test. Okay? He's gonna like mine better. Zeon, we're gonna have you try something. Zeon! Yeah. We're gonna have Zeon taste test whose breakfast turned out better. Buddy Zeon, you're gonna sit right here, and you're gonna tell us whose breakfast looks better. Which one do you want, buddy? The delicious eggs with cheese glazed perfectly on top, crispy. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't, I wasn't done yet. Crispy bacon, some strawberry jam, cut fresh from a uh. loaf of sourdough, or microwave pancakes. All right, which one do you want, buddy? Yeah. You want that? Okay. Maybe you should, like, no, maybe you should sample you can, them. You can eat Wait, it. maybe you should sample them first. You can eat it. Hey, she, here, hey, look yeah. at this. Buddy, look at this. It's so good. You sure you don't want some of these? Mm. Zina, you sure you want some of these? Mm-hmm. Just go buy you, can oh. take a bite. 
This is, breakfast is over. Breakfast is over. Let's go, let's go. It's too hot. <laughs> okay, well honestly that breakfast is kind of a rip off, but usually, why am I leading? You're, this is your morning routine. What, what do you do after breakfast? Ah! Cool. Yeah. Well, this is your homeschool morning routine. Okay. Yeah, so, so we need your school. This is your homeschool room. For anybody who has not seen your homeschool room, is there anything that you want to show them? Um, uh, my desk. Your desk? This your desk? So my desk is very like ordinary because it's not like a, a real like desk at school. And then this is uh, this place I really really like because in here is like everything I need, like mechanical pencils and the calculator and then stuff like that. And for anybody who hasn't seen this, this is our chalkboard wall <laughs> where you can just write on it anything you want. <laughs> Right? Cool is not awesome. Good one. Okay, so usually my wife, her mom, Savannah, is a teacher, but because we don't want to be like so boring, like doing school, we're doing something really fun. Are you ready yet for this? Yes. Because my daughter just entered fifth grade, we are going to be doing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And we're gonna see if I am smarter than my five, no. <laughs> Than my fifth grade year old, fifth grade year old, oh no, this is bad. Than my fifth grade daughter, Everly. And this is the teacher, my wife, Savannah. She's very smart and she's gonna be teaching us things. So she's gonna be teaching us four subjects and then I think for the fifth subject, she has some random substitute teacher who's coming in. So we'll just stay tuned for that. And you're gonna be grading us on who's smart. You have four subjects, three questions per subject. Four times three equals 11, right? So that means that we have, no, how many questions total? Four times three, what's No, 12. 12, 12. So we're gonna have 12, um, 12 questions. All right. <laughs> Is math one of the uh, subjects? Math is one, yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead, I'm ready. We're gonna start with science. Science? Okay, yeah. science. S-I-E-N-S, -S. science. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Okay. <laughs> okay guys, I'm not actually a total num nut. I'm oh no, I, he is, trust me. Number one, are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. What type of scientist studies all living things? I'm gonna give you three different options. Okay. okay. You got a geologist, mm. you got a biologist, mm. and you got a meteorologist. I'm not sure. Geologist is rocks, biologist is all living things, meteorologist is weather. Mm. The answer, B, biologist. Mm. What's your answer, Emily? Mm. Biologist. Biologist. No, bi <laughs> biologist. Biologist. There we go. Woo! Good nice. Answer. Okay, next question. That's a, that's a good one. Okay, next one. Are you guys ready? Yep. Which of these grows from a seed? TV. TV? A donkey, plants, caterpillar, or ants? Oh my gosh, that's so hard. I think it's a TV, though. <laughs> Wait, you actually think it's a TV? This might be a dumb question. Play it! <laughs> What's the question? Is it all TVs or just flat screen TVs? It's flat screen. Flat screen TVs. <laughs> <laughs> the answer's plants. Good job, Emily. You got our last one, are you ready? The last science Which question. Which material is obtained from animals and is used to make clothes? Cotton, wool, wool. Iron, iron, or wax? Wax. Not, not iron, not wax. I got the answer. So it's either cotton or wool. Cotton. I'm gonna say wool. <laughs> Good job. Wool. But to be fair, I've never taught you this, so. Let's go, boy. All right, is that three? Yeah, that's three. Okay, so that round, you got time. You so tied science? Let's move on to the next okay, subject. Okay, well, what's the next subject? All right, next subject is spelling. Spelling, okay. okay you ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. Everybody's a good speller, so be careful. Okay. Okay, number Fifth one. Fifth grade spelling, here we go. Technique. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait. I can. Technique? <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> I actually haven't put this one, but I think we we actually did it the exact same. Oh. T e c h and i q u e. Is that it? I didn't. I thought that would be a tough one. That that is that is a tough but one. But I bet you might know it from dance. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, next one is possibility. Mm. I got my answer locked in. I'm gonna see if we have the same answer or different answers. Same answer. Two S's, one L. Yep. All right. P O S S I B I L I T Y. Good job, good job. Okay. Two for okay, two. Last one, let's see. The winner of this one gets it right. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I guess it gives us a hard one. All right, distinguishable. Oh. <laughs> distinguishable. That's how I would do it. Distinguishable. Oh, we did the exact same. We tied. We both got all of them right. All right, guys, so we're gonna have a tiebreaker in spelling since we both got all three right. Okay. Committee. 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 That's a tough one. Ah, this is wrong. I think this is wrong. Guys, before Savannah reveals how committee spells, okay. you guys go comment it down in the comments and see if you got it right. And don't cheat, because I know you guys are a bunch of cheaters. <laughs> okay, we, we both, we spelled it differently. That means that one was probably got it right and one was probably got it wrong. Okay. I, I'm gonna say how I spelled mine and you say right or wrong. Okay, tell me. C-O-M-M-I-T-T-E. -E. Is that right? Uh, two of everything. Everybody did one M. Otherwise, that, that oh, was the only God. difference. Close, that was a hard one. That was hard. Two of everything. Okay, what's the next subject? All right, next subject is math. Math, you got it. And you can like use a calculator, but whoever writes it first wins. Oh, but I don't have a calculator. Well, you probably don't need one. Okay, ready? Yeah. 325 times six. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Times six. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> was it? Was it? Yep, you're done. Okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to compete okay. against the calculator here. Okay, next one. Five times seven. 
35. Oh. 35. Oh, yeah. One to one, okay. one to one. Ready? Yep. 1,955 times zero. Zero. I had to think about that. I was right now 1,955. Okay. 2,563 times one. Two, one. 2,563. <laughs> Next subject is oh, I don't have geography. 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 Okay. And after this, guys, remember the, the substitute teacher is coming in for the final subject. Write down a state that starts with T. Tennessee. Did you say write down or say first? Well, we can make it a tie because she said it first, I wrote it down first. Okay. Tennessee. We live in Tennessee, boys and girls. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. What is the largest state in the U.S.? This one's always a little tricky. For Alaska. Me. She saw, she, she saw me write it down. She was looking at my paper. That? She cheated. She was looking at my paper. You guys need to go back and look at her eyes go down as she said it. <laughs> okay. What is the smallest state in size? You want me to give you three options? Maine, Rhode Island, Ooh. or Minnesota. Ooh. I'm locked in. Ready? Rhode Island. Rhode Island. <gasps> Good. They got it. Well, I don't really so, know where to go from here. Well, from here, you gotta leave and the substitute's gotta come in. Okay. That's what I'll be doing. Bye. Goodbye, guys. That was fun. Bye. Oh, I wonder who the substitute teacher is. I'm kinda nervous. I have no idea. Hey. Posey? Are you the substitute teacher? Yeah, you got some questions for us? No, you don't? I'm a little confused at what's happening here. Uh, it, it's Spanish. Do you know any Spanish? No? Nope. Well, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just do this then. <laughs> Hello, I'm Halsey, and I'm four years old. I'm going to teach you guys Spanish. You know Spanish? Yeah, a lot. Okay, guys, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. First question, how do you say apples in Spanish? Ooh, how do you say apples in Spanish? Aplause. You know the answer? I, I think I I think I think might have it. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. The answer is manzana. Manzana? You said aplazala. <laughs> I put mine on, I got it right. Okay, I think we're ready for the next question. How do you say hello in Spanish? Hello in Spanish? I think I got it. Hello? What'd you put? Oh, we both got the same answer. Hola. Is that right? Hola? Yes, hola is right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, substitute you teacher. Okay. okay, we got one last one. <laughs> Get a little nervous, okay. Final question. How do you say pencil sharpener in Spanish? Pencil sharpener. I have no clue. That's a tough one. Pencil sharpener? I got no idea. I'm gonna do question mark, question mark, question mark. What are you putting? Penzol? Why are you putting a bunch of Z's in your stuff? You think that Spanish has a bunch of Z's? Okay. okay. What were you gonna put? What were you gonna put? Penzol Chopina. <laughs> Spanish doesn't like that. You guys both got it The answer is Sacapuntes. 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 I knew that. Okay. Are we done? Are we done here? Can we leave? Mic no. drop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave because this is getting way too hard, and I don't even know what's gonna happen anymore. Hiya! So much better than regular school. I finished before lunch and now I can go change. We're already before lunch. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, now that I'm all changed, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and do my hair. Okay, so let's do my toothpaste and then I try to brush softly, not hard, or like a bracket will pop up. And then I have to brush middle, top, bottom, and then behind the wire. It's disgusting. Okay, so now it's time to do my hair. My hair is usually messed, so I might have my mom do it, but I'm just gonna take it down. And it's like straight at the top and then curly at the bottom. It's so weird. What in the world? Look at that. It's like one is like longer than the other. Look at how bad that is. Oh, and where are you partnering there? Why does my hair look like that? I think it looks great. The one is like puffy. Look at that. Horrible. Okay, well, uh, this was supposed to be homeschool morning routine and it's almost lunchtime now, which means morning is officially over. So you need to wrap this video up. Can you tell everyone to subscribe? Subscribe. Guys. Say thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. Say help us hit 1 million subscribers, guys. Help us hit 1 million. Say see you next video, guys. See you next video. Peace out. Peace.